I would like to welcome you to Manut University and to our Omnibus Science Program, MH201. This is an exciting time to be working in science. As you will have seen over the past few months, we need our biologists, our immunologists, our pharmaceutical chemists to be working on the treatments kind of for dealing with diseases into the future. We need our scientists and our engineers to be developing the technology to allow us to work from home. We have mathematics and physics who are looking at technologies such as big data, astrophysics, space science. There are so many things into the future that science is the fundamental technology, the fundamental basis going forward. The Omnibus Science Programme has been designed to be flexible to allow students to choose combinations of subjects that suit their interests and also their aspirations. So for example, you could pick to do a single honours in biology and become an immunologist. Or you can combine computer science and mathematics and physics and work in data science or actually quantum computing or work in nuclear physics in places like CERN. This year has been a turbulent year. COVID has disrupted your leaving cert and it's disrupted what will be your first year in university. But I would like to remind you, the university is a community. We are here to help you. We are here to support you in any way that we can. So please try to keep up to date with your lectures. Please attend your labs. And if you are feeling a little bit lost, please ask. We are happy to help you. As an MH201 science student at Maynooth University, you are very fortunate with the choice of subjects that you can pick. As you know, in year one, you can choose four subjects, one of which must be mathematics. The other seven subjects are biology, chemistry, computer science, data science, engineering science, experimental physics, mathematical physics, and critical skills. As I said to you before, all MH201 science students at Maynooth University must study mathematics in first year. So therefore, if you're studying maths, you can choose it with three other science subjects, or you can choose maths with two other science subjects and critical skills. Now don't worry, you've got four weeks to decide on which subjects you want to choose. Now, one recommendation I would encourage all students to is explore all the different subjects available to you. Don't come in on day one with a strong mindset and saying, I'm definitely gonna do science, A, B, C, plus maths or whatever. My advice to any student coming into MH201 is use it to your full advantage and potential and try and taste subjects such as data science or engineering science, subjects that you possibly have never thought of before. And who knows, you might unlock some potential there to find out that you have a huge interest in data science and data collected all around the world and its impact on our daily lives. Or engineering science, it might open up the world of engineering to you. Similarly, if you've never studied chemistry or biology, try those out too. You've got four weeks to decide. And as I always say to any student, it's as important to rule out certain subject as rule in certain subjects. So use these four weeks wisely. So we talked about the four subjects that you're gonna choose in year one of MH201. So we talked about you're going to have to study maths and you might choose to study three other science subjects, or as you'll remember what I mentioned, you might study maths, two other science subjects and critical skills. Just a note on critical skills, you will be dropping critical skills at the end of year one. You can't study that in year two. So if you choose critical skills in year one, the other three subjects that you have, so that's maths and your other two science subjects, those are the three subjects that you are going to be continuing into year two with. Many MH201 students come into MH201 and continue through to fourth year in MH201, either specialising in a double major or a single major. However, others come into MH201 hoping that they'll transfer, or maybe even, you know, you mightn't think about it now, but towards the end of year one, or even during year one, you might think, actually, I'd love to go into a specialised science discipline. This too is an option. MH201 science students have many options available to them. One of these may be a possibility of transferring into year two of a specific discipline. This is something that you probably knew about or others might be sitting and they didn't know about this. So you may recall that I mentioned trying something different, engineering science. 
you might have thought engineering was completely out of the question for you because you didn't study higher level maths at school. Well, if you study engineering science in Maynooth University MH201, there is a possibility that you can transfer into year two electronic engineering. In order to transfer into year two electronic engineering, for example, students must take engineering science, mathematics, computer science, and one other available subject in year one MH201. Similarly, if you look biotechnology, students must take biology, chemistry and mathematics. Now, it is important to note that places may be limited in transferring, so that's why it's really important to study really hard and put everything into year one. But there's so many options available to you. Make sure that you check out on our course finder and on our web pages all the transfer options available to you. It is important to note and to tell you that there are certain combinations that can't be taken. For example, data science cannot be combined with mathematical physics, or engineering science cannot be taken with biology. Data science students in year one MH201 can follow on with statistics in year two, but it is worth noting also that data science isn't a requirement to study statistics in year two. We have excellent student resources available at Maynooth University and one that we pride ourselves a lot is the Maths Learning Support Centre that's based in the library. It's free, it's open to you, so please use it. Finally, as an MH201 student, you've got lots of choices. You're in a brilliant course. You've got four weeks to decide, so don't panic about which, su which subjects you're going to choose. You've got the four weeks. Talk to other students in MH201, talk to second year students or our student ambassadors, talk to your lecturers, they're excellent resources of what's involved in semester one, in semester two, and really get a feel for if you're gonna be comfortable in this course or is it a course for you. And finally, if you need any more information, look at our web pages, Course Finder, and the Academic Advisory Office. <laughs>